so welcome to the part 4 of our platformer series so in this video we will see how to add the coin animation and also the death one so let's start first of all i have these two images i will provide the link into the description so please go and download it so let's add them into our sprites so first one is of the coins so we are going to make the animation from these frames but we need to make them separate first so for that click on the coins and here is option sprite mode change it to multiple and also mesh type to full rect open the sprite editor and slice them and don't forget to apply so this is it so we will get the frame separate same for this one change the mode to multiple and mesh type to full rate so let's create first the coin animation let's create empty This is our coin sprite. So let's create one animation for it. Start the recording from here. Click on the first one and hold down the shift and click on the last one and then drag them here so stop the recording and let's first make it to the foreground under the sorting layer change it to foreground so it's playing change the sample rate to 10 this looks good Let's place it This is it Let's add the script now Under the character Okay, where is the script? Okay. So let's start with the on collision. On collision enter 2D. We need the collider information here. For that we will use the tag option. So let's add the compare tag. Under the click on the coin and let's create one tag first. Your coin. the if condition so if the character collides to our coin it will the coin will disappear right so let's add the destroy destroy game object here we need to add the reference of this sprite here so let's create a variable for it into the scene which will be of type game object so this is it 
let's see okay animation is playing okay it's not working for the collision we need to add the collider for our coin so let's add it set up the collider bounding box from here so this is it i hope this will work now okay this is working so this is for the coin animation let's now see our hazards let's add the this one let's add this one also change the sorting layer of this to foreground let's rotate it to let's place it here we will also need to add the collider for it okay, this is it so let's work towards uh, our script So for that we will need our the dead animation for four character. Under animations, let's create the dead one. For that we will need the sequence of the animation. Yeah, I have it. So you can you can also take it from the folder. I will put link in the description of that folder. So please go and download it. So for the animation, start the recording mode. Click on the first one, hold down shift, and just drag it here. Stop the recording. Change the sample to twenty. So this looks fast. Okay, this is it. One more thing is to turn off the loop. Click on date and uncheck this. So let's walk into the script graph. So this is for our coin. Let's create the another one. For that, we need one trigger here. One parameter which is of type trigger, which is is dead. So we have the dead state here, connected to this node. You can reduce the transition also. And under the condition, click on dead. This is it. So let's let's add the on trigger. On trigger, enter two D. This one. So we will again need to add the tag for our hazard. So for it, we will need the compare tag. game object
Let's create the tag first. Don't forget to assign it. So this is it. So next thing we will need the condition. If so if the character collides to this hazard it will play the it will trigger the dead animation right so for this we will need the node set trigger animator set trigger with the name and give the same name of the parameter so this is it let's check one more thing is to turn on the trigger option here under the hazards here let's check now This one is working. So here is the error. Animator attached to the character game object. Okay. We need to add the game object here. Which is of the sprite ref. This one only. Let's see. Here. Okay, it's working but as you can see it's moving also so let's fix this one for it we will use the option of the simulated here when this is checked the you can see you can read this one it will play the the script only if it is simulated so let's change the change turn this off when this will trigger our dead animation so for that we will need the set simulated option rigid body 2d set simulated this is off so this will work now Let's see. Okay, this is working. So this is it for today. So this is the script for our dead animation. Okay, so let's play one more time. Okay, it's working. One more thing is to increase the player speed. Let's make it 3 or 4. Okay, this is it for today's video. Hit the subscribe button, like the video and turn on the notification also so see you into the next video in which we will add the enemy so till then take care and goodbye